30 years ago, there were no fat Philippines. <laughs> you can be near a hospital or you can be near a beach, but you can't do both. I'm honestly afraid to go. It's only 24. Hi, what's your name? I'm Dave. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, California, U.S. And uh, what brings you down here to the Philippines? Um, I retired here. Oh, when did you get here? Um, what was it? April of 23. Okay. 23. Is this your first time to the Philippines? No, oh, no, I've been here many times. Uh, do you remember your first time? When was it when you got here? Oh, gosh. Um, about, 90, about 95. Wow. 96, 97, Almost 30 like years ago, huh? Yeah. Okay, what has been the biggest difference since then and now, except for like modernization? Well, um, I've noticed, you know, especially in the provinces, but here too, it's a lot cleaner than it, than it was before. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, the thing that that really gets me down about the Philippines is all the trash, all the all the garbage everywhere. Yeah, um, and it's still not good, but it mm -hmm. it's much better. I, okay, I, I, I'm pleased to to say that there's that difference. Yeah. The other thing I've noticed is 30 years ago, there were no fat Philippines. Okay, yeah. There, were, there were just weren't, you just didn't see them. Mm -hmm. But mm, there's a lot of them that got some... They're getting have, rounder, they're, huh? They're, yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, we're no different, as, I'm as sure. As a round person. <laughs> yeah. I, do you think that's because of economics? Or I do. It's, it's a richer country mm -hmm. uh, than it was. You know, and the, they're eating more. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you like the most about the Philippines? Or what are some things you do like about this country? Um, well, I like the weather, although mm -hmm. I could do without all the humidity. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, really, temperature-wise, it's very similar to California, but the humidity it's more humid, is, huh? is out, of the, out of this world. But, of course, you like the, the natural beauty. Everyone likes the natural beauty of the yeah. place. Um, Cebu has gotten really um, crowded. Traffic has got terrible here. Mm -hmm. You know, I I, I chose to um, settle in Cebu because, I, well, really what I wanted was a place that was um, beachfront property, yeah, but near a hospital. Okay. And I'm I'm to that age where I start thinking about where's the hospital. You know? Okay. Um, and you know, I want a high quality hospital. So you've got either Manila or Cebu out in the provinces. So healthcare, much. healthcare is really hit and miss. It, you know, not, not trying to bag on anybody. It's yeah. just, that's just the reality of things. Just, yeah. the, just the reality. The problem in Cebu is unless you want to live in a resort, there's no, no beach. There, you know, you 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 can be near a hospital or you can be near a beach, but you can't do both. Not both. I understand. Yeah, everything is privatized, right? All the yeah. nice beaches. Yeah. You got to pay like a day fee to access them. Yeah. And, Okay, that, that's capitalism. Um, yeah. But I, I would like there to have been an option where I could have. Okay. Have you traveled to many other places aside from Cebu? I've been all over. Okay. Uh, yeah. Of course, the, the tourist places like Palawan and mm -hmm. the whole Boracay, of course, yeah. those places. But lots of places in between, too. Okay. And you know, I've, I've been up in Luzon. I've been, I haven't been to Mindanao. I haven't been to the yeah. southern parts. I'm honestly afraid to go. I was going to ask about specifically why, but you just mentioned it. Speaking of being afraid or safety concerns, uh, what would you say the Philippines dangerous for a foreigner? Give me any insight oh, no. on that. Uh, no, I, I mean, I have never felt a, a da danger. People yeah. tell me, oh, be careful. And, you know, Philippines themselves will tell me, oh, don't walk down there. There's, you know, there are people that are going to rob you, but I've never felt in danger a single time. Yeah. But I don't want to go to Mindanao. I don't want to push my luck. Yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> if they tell you not to do something, maybe best. Well, they, you know, they tell me, oh, no, Davao is the safest place in the Philippines now. And, you know, yeah. But I'm I'm definitely not a fan of Duterte, so okay. you're, you're, you're fans of Duterte. You're not a fan, huh? They're, they're probably not going to like me, and that's... Yeah. That, that's fine, but the extradition, judicial killings, just no. Yeah. Even even if it's even if it's um, safe in Davao, to me it's not. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. No, I've heard uh, some stories about that as well. 
Uh, now, what about dating, life, anything like that? Tell us a bit more about that. Well, I was married to Filipina for 30 years. That's how I started. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, a long time. Um, we had two kids, and you know, there there were good years, but toward the end, it wasn't wasn't so great. And we, you know, there's no divorce here. But we got divorced in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, and then I was engaged to a Filipino for, for what, shoot, like six years. Um, but in the end, that didn't work out either. I mean, and it's not that she's a bad person, or, and I hope it's not that I'm a bad person either. Yeah, it's just didn't work sometimes out. Sometimes things shift on you, and that's the way it goes. Um, now I'm in a relationship with another Filipina, uh, but this time, um, you know, I'm 65 years old, so I, I'm a chicken longer, I'm almost playing chicken. Yeah. Um, but she's 49, and that's much, much more comfortable. Because yeah. when I was engaged, she was, she was only 24. I see. And, you know, it, it's not a good... So the age gap made it difficult? The age, the, well, that's part of it. Yeah. You know, it, it is difficult. Mm-hmm. So, um, and... It's difficult in your own culture too, but also you know, American culture just simply will not accept those age gaps. They just won't. You they just simply won't. They they think that the guy is a sex maniac, yeah. and they think that she's a gold digger, and there's nothing that can be said that will, yeah. will sway sway them. Yeah. Maybe if you say we've been married for 20 years, maybe maybe that would help. I don't yeah. know. But short of that, it, it, it's just easier to have someone a little closer to you. For sure. I think you can relate a bit more as and, well. Hey, you know, she likes my music and I like her music. And, you know, that that's more important to relationships than, than I realized before I was a 24-year-old. Do you think there's a lot of actual, like, older expats here dating younger women? You see them all the time. Yeah. You see them all the time. And... I, I don't have any advice for them. Yeah. But, you know, everyone has to find their their own way. If it works for them, then then it works. But what I don't do is look at them and think, oh, um, um, you know, she's such a, a gold digger. Yeah. We don't know women, people. Women all over the world react. You know, they're they're programmed to look for providers, and um, that that doesn't mean that she doesn't love them just because in the mix is. Hey, he's a good provider, yeah. and and he's willing to help out with my family. And hey, that that's a turn on. If, we, if you're a woman, that's a turn on. What's wrong with that? Yeah, and course. him too. He's looking for that pretty young girl, and it's, it's not any different. It's um, doesn't mean he doesn't love her just because she's young and pretty. Yeah, of course. Right? That's okay. So let, let everybody do their own thing. Let let them find their own way. I'm, yeah. Where would you say a guy coming here for the first time has the best way to meet a woman that they want to be like, married to or be engaged with? Something more than just fun, you know? Where's a good place yeah. to meet women? Yeah. Well, where I met my la my present Uyab, is right here um, at Socials. Okay. Or at the Social. Yeah. Um, and I just sat down and um, the I, I'd been there several times mm -hmm. um, looking for someone. You know, and I see someone sitting alone, and I go and talk to her. And I did that. It works Actually, for you. Not, huh? not that many times. A few yeah. times, and, and hit it off with someone. Okay. Uh, that that worked for me. I wouldn't suggest. Um, you know, I wouldn't suggest the bars, and of course, that's the first place to think of is yeah. Uh, you go to the bars, but if if you're looking for a long-term relationship, um, you know those. those those girls in general, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to put a blanket judgment on any group, but, but th those are the gold diggers. They, they are very consciously looking for money. They're not, they love you, and it's, and it's nice to have money. It's, it, you know, as, as my, uh, um, as my present Uya says, um, money down before panty down. <laughs> okay, all right. For, I hope that's not inappropriate. No, it's but. fine. This is a, this is a grown-up channel. We okay. talk about everything. Feel free. Yeah. Um, um, speaking of that, like, 
a lot of guys have this concern that if you marry a Filipina, you marry her family. You do. So tell us a little bit about the dynamics there. Yeah, um, yeah, that, and, and it's just, it's not questioned. It's not, I, I mean, you take a Filipina out to dinner and, you know, you invite her out and you think you're going to take her. And um, she shows up with her friend mm -hmm. and her sister and her mother and one of her younger brothers and perhaps the maid. And nobody says, oh, can we help you with the bell? Or, you know, can you handle all these people? Or no, they, it's just assumed you're going to pay for it all. Yeah. You pay for it all. And, you know, that, I have to say that that bothers me, but it is the way it is. And that extends into the whole relationship. You marry her, you, you, you've taken on her family. Well, um, it is different in the provinces than in, in the city. That's not so, so much true here. Here, women are much more independent. Mm -hmm. But you go out in the provinces and, you know, they expect you to take care of your family. They, they just do. Would you say, generally speaking, women here are more approachable than the women in the U.S.? Well, in general, they're sweeter. <laughs> um, if, if you're out in the provinces, they tend to be pretty conservative. And it, it's hard to get started if, you know, if what you're looking for is a physical relationship. Yeah. It's harder to get going. Mm -hmm. Well, at least, I don't know, I'm showing my own <laughs> weaknesses, yeah. that's, that's my experience. <laughs> I, it's harder to get going, but, it, but it's easier to get a relationship just started. Okay. However, they tend to move much more quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, it's normal in the U.S. to be engaged for two years before you talk about marriage. You know, here it moves along so quickly, but in two, in two months, you're... You're locked You're in. in it. <laughs> yeah. And you know, wait, how did that happen? You know? All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, my pleasure. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of Dave's story and his experiences. Anything you want to share, if you take your time to write it, I will take your time to respond. One thing I really appreciate about his interview is that he was very clear about his perspective, about this being his point of view. He does not speak for everybody else, but that's why I bring these stories to you guys, these interviews, because I want you, if you're coming to the Philippines, if you live in the Philippines, to have as much information as you have so you can come here and enjoy the Philippines, the people, the culture, the dating life, everything, and you're well prepared for it. Speaking of preparation, if you want to see daily content, check out my news channel called Asia Now. I've left a link in the description down below. Click there if you want to see day-to-day -day news content. I just released a video yesterday recapping everything. Now, once again, be reminded that this country is very different, very vast. It's going to depend on where you go, if you're in the city, if you're you know, in the province, your budget, if you're single. You know, there's no one way of living in the Philippines. There's no one right answer. Everybody has a different perspective, and this was just one of them. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that like button so more people can watch this. And I'll see you guys uh, maybe tomorrow or in a couple days. Bye.